this drink one more time it's a drink which i do love and trust me it's just one of those drinks you have to take your time sometime and just decide so you know what you want to make something totally different all right and that's where this drink come in handy all right yeah so right now as you can see i'm in the kitchen and i'm going to be showing you exactly what i'm going to be doing all right lovely All right, now this morning I'm going to be showing you exactly what I'm going to do. I have some green apple and I'm going to be using two green apple and I'm going to be using some ginger and lemon. Okay, it's a drink which I normally make all the time, but it's a collaboration between me and Michi, Michi Bo um, on my YouTube channel. It's just a collaboration at the moment. That's why I'm doing the video. But I got a different kind of recipe which I normally do, but this is one which I want to share with you. Boss Kitchen, thank you so much. Big up yourself. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your coming on the show this morning. Island Kitchen, always a support chef Ricardo. I love that name on Island Kitchen. 100%. Alright, now, as I said, it's a video which I normally did. I do this drink many times, but I'm just spreading it to let people know that, listen, this drink is a very good drink for you. And I will encourage you guys to give this one a try at home, alright? Yeah, it's a beautiful one. All right, so what we're going to do, I'm going to just walk you through it now and show you exactly what you want to do. You want to make sure you get yourself at least two green apple, and you have to use a green apple because this the green apple is very good and it have a little bit of sweetness to it also. All right? Yeah. All right, now what I'm going to do is cut up my apple. So you cut up your green apple and put it straight into your blender, just like this, okay? Very nice drink, guys, 100%. I will encourage you guys to give this one a try at home. It's a beautiful drink, and to be honest with you, if you guys want to try something totally different, this is a very good drink for you to make at home, all right? And as I say, it's a collaboration between me and Michi. So big up Mitchie from all the way in Australia, always supporting my YouTube channel, always a show some love. So I really appreciate it. Alright. Island Kitchen, you always are showing some love. <laughs> yummy yummy Johnson, big up yourself, man. Thank you so much. Ja oh yeah. So I'm going to cut up my the apple. I'm just cutting up the apple at the moment, guys. As you can see, that's the apple. Alright. Now if you want to make a large portion of this drink, all you have to do is increase your, you know what I mean, your ingredients. Instead, if you want to make a large portion, what you can do, you can add a, at least five or four apple if you want to make a large one. This one doesn't require no water, okay? You just want to just drink it natural as it is, okay? Yeah, nice one. So as you can see, that's the apple. That is lovely. And you don't need to remove the skin from the apple. So it's just beautiful, guys. Trust me. Beautiful. All right. Lovely and nice. Now, what I want to do, I'm, I want to use a lot of ginger. So I'm going to be using a lovely fat chunk of piece of ginger. Hey, Nicole. Congratulations on Nicole, man. Big up yourself. Thank you so much, Nicole, for coming on the show. Really appreciate it. All right. Please check out Nicole's YouTube channel and share some love. All right. So as you can see, this one, I'm just going to put a nice, lovely, fat chunk of piece of a ginger right here. All right. Yeah. So once you cut up your ginger, what you want to do, once you, you just want to put that straight into the blender, like this, all right? That's a, that's a nice, lovely, a fat chunk of piece of a ginger. So right now, we're going to use a piece of a lemon also inside of it, all right? Okay, 
Okay, so once you do your lemon, you just put your lemon straight inside of it. Just like that, okay? And as I say, if you want, you can increase you can increase your ingredients if you want to make a lot more drink. All right, the other thing you do is just increase your ingredients. Now the thing is, I want to say this doesn't require no liquid. Okay, you just cover it just like this. All right, that's all. Ginger, lemon, and apple. All right, and what we're gonna do? We're just gonna make a little bit of a noise, and we're gonna blend this for a few seconds. Okay. blend it just the way it's gonna look it's gonna look like pure all right but what we're gonna do we're gonna simple strain it okay we're gonna we're gonna be running it to our strainer all right just like this so we're gonna strain it and as I say if you want to make a big portion of this drink all you have to do is increase your If you want to make a large portion, all you have to do is increase your ingredients, all right? So you're just going to strain it. And as I said, guys, this drink, I've been doing this over the last probably six to seven months now. And I'm always doing this video on my YouTube channel because I want a lot of people life to be a little bit more easier and they do stuff at home, which is also healthy. So that's why I've been doing this drink a lot. So if you notice, I'm always doing this drink, always. Because this drink, guys, is like one of the top drinks, especially in the summer. Like now, it's a very good time to make this kind of drink right now, guys. And if you have a little bit of spare time at home, you can make a big potion. You know what I mean? And just drink it for the day. And this doesn't require no honey, no sugar, nothing, guys. It's just the, the apple bringing the sweetness. I'm honest, every day I keep wondering how comes... It's just amazing. The drink is just so lovely. You know, so what you want to do, you just want to squeeze out that fiber. It's such a beautiful drink, guys. And I'm encouraging you to give this a try at home. You know what I mean? Sometimes you say to yourself, oh, you know what I mean? You feel a little bit lazy and a little bit have a long day, stressed out. But I'm telling you this. Sometimes when you feel long day and stressed out and a lot of things going on, all you have to do is just go in the kitchen and turn on your blender and blend up something. Honestly, everything come off your mind. Anytime you feel like you're tired, feel stressed out and you know what I mean? You know, all you have to do, Trisha, will it. thank you so much for coming out. really appreciate that one. Just go in the kitchen, make yourself something. I'm not stressed right now, I'm making it up, but I'm just giving you guys some tips and ideas. Of things we can, you know, because we are human beings, we all go through a little bit of things in life. No one is perfect, and you know, what I mean, but as I say, so that's the fiber. All right, we're just gonna chop this into the bin, we don't need this, okay? Now, to be honest, here it is, guys. This is beautiful, and I would encourage you guys to give this a try. So, basically, if you want to make a large portion of this drink. All you have to do is increase your ingredients. Let's drink. Oh man, this ah, this, mm, this is beautiful, fantastic, and an amazing. Ah, this is amazing. Wow, look at that. Mm -mm. This is amazing. Guys, this is so lovely. I think I have to go make some more. Hey, Mitchy, what's going on? Please check out Mitchy YouTube channel. So we're doing a collaboration. Wow. 
I think I need to make some more, guys. That was a little bit too small for me. Wow, the ginger, man, is amazing, isn't it? That's the only thing I like about this drink. All right. Okay, now, Nicole, my little angel, Nicole. Listen now, I want you to make the drink. All right, I want you to, I want you to make this drink, Nicole. Get yourself two apple and send me the link. I'm gonna have to make some more of a drink, guys. The drink is amazing. <laughs> what are you, what are you first? Juliet, Julie, uh, here's the thing, big up herself. Julie, Julie, Juliet, <laughs> Juliet in the kitchen. I think you disappear off the planet. I'm going, hey, Juliet, listen, we need to do a collaboration with you, you know. You're not going on really good, you know. I'm gonna, trust me, I'm gonna, <laughs> uh, Julie. I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to come. I'm gonna have to fly to the US and come for you and jump in that kitchen and cook some food. All right, where you been, Juliet in the kitchen? <laughs> Mitchy, big up yourself. Thank you so much for that ten point, Mitchy. Uh, please check out Mitchy. I want you to make this drink. I'm, I'm serious now, Mitchy. All right, I want you to make this drink and send me the link. All right. Uh, um, is that gonna be a collaboration? But you're gonna have to mention Chef Ricardo, Juliet. Juliet in the kitchen. I'm going to have to come for you, you know. <laughs> they got Juliet, man. All the way in the US. Anyway, probably she's going to work in the morning. That's why she's just stopped by in my kitchen in, U in London. So, yeah, that's where I go. All right. Now, Nicole, I want you to make this drink. Okay? Mitri, I want you to make this drink. And, um, Pause Island Kitchen, I want you to make this drink. And if Juliet, Juliet, Juliet in the kitchen can make this one also. So what you want to do, you want to get yourself two apple, green apple, you know. This one, you have to use green apple. Do not use red apple, red flag. All right? Red apple is red flag. All right? And then what you want to do, you want to get one lemon or one lime. All right? Do the video. Send me the link. And we're going to put it in the description box. All right? In the community. Make sure you hashtag Chef Ricardo Cooking. Okay? Ears is in. Big up yourself, man. <laughs> then, next, you're going to get a piece of a ginger. Okay? It's a very simple recipe. It's only three ingredients. Okay? <laughs> Alright. So, Mitchie, I want you to make this drink and send me the link. Okay? Um, yeah. Send me the link. I will post it in the community for you. Alright? But remember, you have to send hashtag Chef Ricardo Cooking. Alright? Julie... Juliet, Julie in the kitchen, you cracks me up. Anyway, I want you to make this one. I want you to, I want you to make this one, Julie, and, and send me the link. All right, this is a, a summer drink. It's great. I am allergic to apple. Oh my days! Don't tell me that you're allergic to red to apple. Wow. Okay. Um, I will find something next time for you to make. All right. Um, Julia in the kitchen, we need to do a, a collaboration, man. You're too I think you're too busy at work. <laughs> Julie in the kitchen. Big up our man. Every time. Always supporting Chef Ricardo. Now, guys, I'm going to have to make some more of this drink. All right? That was a little bit too small for Chef Ricardo. You know what I mean? So get two apples, as I say. All right? You need two apples. Very important to use the green apple. All right? And make this drink. 100%. So once you get the apple, all right, cut up your apple into the blender. Yeah, I did the video already, I know that. So why are you making the same video? Because it was a little bit of drink, guys, and I need more, innit? So I have to make more. <laughs> That's the only way I have to do it, is make more. All right, but I got a lot more recipe you guys can share with you. But this drink... We are spreading the good news about this drink. And I saw a lot of people make it. Guys, I'll tell you something. This drink on my Instagram and my IG, I saw a lot of people making this drink right now. And all of those customer, all of my customer them who make the drink, they saying to me, Chef Ricardo, thank you so much. If I should if I should share my um IG and see the comments and what the people them talk about this drink on my IG. And I'm talking, I'm not talking about 10 or 15 people. I'm not talking probably about almost 200 people who like this recipe right here. It's a simple recipe, but it's very, very good for you, okay? Um, the ginger is very good for you, all right? And that's what 
the ginger makes the difference, but you have to use a lot of ginger in it. It's gonna be a little bit hot, but it do the job. Seriously, 100%, all right? So, so the apple, what the apple do is to just put in a little bit of sweetness to it, okay? All right, now guys, I'm gonna say something to you. I'm talking about this drink right now. There's so, so many people making this apple, green apple, ginger, and lemon. All right, and I'm and I'm telling you this. I, I I spread it so much to let people know about this drink, cause this drink is amazing, fantastic, and lovely. And the flavor in it is just so delicious, guys. All right. All right. Now, as you can see, that's the apple right here. Okay. I'm just cutting up the apple. Nice one. That's the apple right there. Now, I'm going to get the ginger. I'm going to remove the skin from the ginger. Okay, you have to remove the skin from the ginger, guys. Alright, so I'm going to be using a lovely fat chunk of piece of a ginger. Okay, um, let's see. Okay, Julie. Big up yourself, Julie. Big up yourself. We always love you. We always love you, Julie. You're amazing, man. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, Julie. You're amazing over there. All the way in Australia, Michi. Big up yourself. Doing a collaboration. Uh, please check out our YouTube channel. And, you know what I mean, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share some love, alright? So that's the ginger. And this the lemon, okay? So that's it right there. Um, we're just gonna blend this and as I say it doesn't require no water guys Hey Julie, we need to catch up man Guys, please follow me on my IG chef ricotta cooking. So now what we're gonna do we're gonna just blend this same ingredients guys ginger lemon and apple you don't need any water any honey no butter no sugar no flour please do not put any garlic in it all right just those three ingredients okay, let's play to blend it that's the way it look right there okay that looking good all right that looking fantastic and amazing all right yeah all right now we're gonna strain it okay I'm gonna run it through our strainer again same process like before Just run it through our strainer. And trust me, this is amazing, guys. Very healthy and delicious. Wow, you can smell that beautiful lemon and the ginger makes the difference. All right, just gonna squeeze it out just like this. And that is lovely, guys. Beautiful one. That is just so lovely. So guys, I want you to make this one and send me the link. All right, yeah. This is just perfect, guys, for you to make at home, 100%. Great apple, ginger, and lemon. This is just like in the summer. All right, and that's the fiber. We don't need the fiber. Then that's it again. We just do a thing like this. Pour it in. And what you want to do? We're gonna say cheers and we're gonna drink this. Alright. Ah. 
taste that beautiful ginger and the lemon. So amazing. Wow. That is lovely, guys. This is amazing one. All right. That is lovely. That is so beautiful, guys. I love it so much. And it's that, that only that is so easy, guys. Very, very, very easy. All right. Now, as I, as I can see, this is a collaboration between me and Michi. Michi Boo. All the way in Australia. Big arrow. All right. Yeah, man. All the way in Australia. So, Island Kitchen, I want you to make the video and send me the link. All right. more drink and that's it for the for the day all right one more of this healthy drink all right this one gonna be celery your favorite guys every one of us love this one all right and this is good for you all right this one I love my celery, man. So this is some celery right here, guys. I'm gonna make it a nice, lovely juice from the celery to show you another recipe again. It's beautiful, fantastic, and an amazing. Big up my Instagram audience. If you're not following me, please follow me on my IG, Chef Ricardo Cooking. We go in on him. Please, guys, go over there and follow Chef Ricardo, all right? Share some love. All right, now, this one, it doesn't require no water neither, guys. It's the same process. Okay. Lovely and nice. What you want to do? You want to cut up your celery. All right. Yeah, cut up your celery and put it straight into your blender like this. All right. This is another recipe for you guys. Once you cut up your celery. Straight into your blender. All right. A lot of people doesn't know. Celery is very, very good for you. And I will encourage you guys to drink a lot of celery juice. It have a lot of health benefits. Celery with ginger and lemon is very, very good for you. All right. So it's only, it's only three ingredients again. All right. So right now we're gonna remove the skin from the ginger. All right, so these, these recipe guys, I'm telling you, you don't need to add any liquid to them. You just wanna just get the juice out of it, all right? All right. Sharon, thank you so much for coming on the show. Please check out Michi YouTube channel, it's a collaboration. All right guys, beautiful one. Alright, now, so this is the ginger. I'm gonna be using some ginger. I'm just gonna cut up my ginger into it. That's the ginger. Lovely and nice. Um, this one, I'm going to use a uh, lemon inside of it, alright? A lime. gonna use a lime okay inside of it just like this just gonna remove the skin from the lime nice one all right so we're gonna put one lime inside of it and as you can see celery ginger and lime 
If you got lemon, you can use some lemon, all right? Now, I like to use an apple inside of it because the apple, way apple do is just bring in a little bit more flavor to it. But you don't have to. Hey, Hans Cook, big up yourself. What's going on? What's going on? Hans <laughs> cooking. what's going on? Talk to me. Hans cooking. I want you to make that video and send me the link. Ginger, lemon, and apple. And this one is celery, ginger, and some apple. The apple is just to bring in a little sweetness to it because a lot of people don't like celery. And if you're allergic to celery, you can't have this one, all right? Because this one has a celery inside of it. Now, I'm going to take this to the blend for a few minutes. So I'm going to make it a little bit of noise. All right? Yeah. That's what's going to happen now. Yeah, man. That I go on the kitchen right now. We're going to blend up this right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right? That's it right there, guys. Celery, ginger, lime, or lemon with a little bit of apple. Perfect, guys, for you. Really, really good. And it does not take nothing to do this. It's so easy and simple. All right, so we're going to do the same process. We're going to strain it. All right. Oh, man, similar celery. And not only that, celery have a lot of health benefit. I love my celery juice, man. Wow, look at that, guys. So, huh? just gonna strain it off. Wow, so easy and simple. It doesn't do nothing to do this, guys. Nothing. Wow, look at that. That is fantastic. That is lovely. Look at that. Wow. Guys, I didn't add no liquid to this, you know. All right? There's no liquid to this right here. All right? Ninety-five percent all of these ingredients is just water. Um, um, and water inside of it. The other five percent is just like fiber. All right. So as you can see for yourself, just want to make sure you get all of that fiber out of it. Nothing wrong with the fiber, guys, but sometimes you know, it's not too good sometimes to have a lot of fiber. You know what I mean? But it's not everyday thing, so. You know what I mean? But. Ah! Make sure I get everything out of that, you know, you can't waste it, Chef Ricardo. Come on. You can't waste it. What if I waste this? You know what I mean? This is amazing, man. Make sure you get all of the liquid out of it. Ah. You see that, guys? Look at that. All right? A lot of people only take the time and do this. You know, trust me. You know what I mean? Now, sometimes you have to put in some of these natural juice in your body. All right, the fiber, we don't need the fiber. All right. Same process again, guys. We're going to pour it into the glass. All right, look at that. Guys, you see it? 95% of that vegetable is water. The other 5% is fiber. If you notice, I did not add any liquid to it and you get a lovely glass of a juice, which is natural. 
And trust me, you could then go down the road and buy yourself a fizzy juice. You don't need to do that. Use that, that money and buy some celery and just go and blend it up and just drink it natural. Look at that, guys. Take a good look. Celery, ginger, and a little bit of apple and some lime or lemon. And just blend up everything together and make this. Oh my God in heaven. What more do you want? Oh my God. Let's drink. This is fantastic and I'm amazing. All right. And as you can see, I did not add any, any water or nothing to this. Lovely glass of a juice. Drink this just as it is. You don't need to put any butter. Please don't put any butter in a blender. No oil and all them stuff. Because I saw people doing these things, guys. All right. Trust me. You know, if people using soap, um, liquid soap and bleach to wash chicken, trust me, you don't know what people will do. All right? But I'm just going to encourage you, please do not put any butter and no flour or, or no cooking oil into this, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, don't do it, guys. Red flag. All right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I saw someone was using... um. Fear liquid washing chicken. <laughs> I tell you. Get yourself some lemon and some and some vinegar and wash your chicken, guys. No that use any bleach. Not only that, someone was using um this the other one named um um mold remover. Mold you know that thing they call it mold remover to wash the chicken. I don't know what they might try to remove off of the chicken. So they was using um, <laughs> it's a serious thing that's going on out there, guys. And I, I, I don't know if he was doing it to make video or something, but then they cook it and then they eat it after. So it is real thing going on. So what I'm saying sometimes, do not use any oil and any butter, any flour, any sugar in it. You know what I mean? Just do it natural, you know? You got a lot of people when they're making certain things and just start to do mix up, mix up and think it's going to work. You know what I mean? You yeah, red flag. But I'm saying... You don't need to add any cooking oil into this one. Or no. You don't need to add any butter into it. Or no self-rising flour. Or no plain flour. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Please don't do it, guys. Alright? Red flag. Alright. Now, we're going to drink this one. Mm. Oh, my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is... Alright. You see, this juice, I'm going to tell you something. Mitchy, when you wake up tomorrow morning or this morning, I, I think I think it is night over there in Australia, is it? Let me know if it is night over there. When you wake up in the morning, you know what? Make some nice and make everyone wake up in the house. Get your blender, yeah? And blend up some celery and some ginger and lemon. When it's going inside of your tummy, you feel that nice juice go down inside of your tummy. This is it right here, guys. Oh, my God in heaven. Ah, this juice is amazing. 100%. All right. Turn on the blender and make up some nice in the place. I met the, all of the neighbor coming and knock down. Just tell them, say, listen to me. I saw Chef Ricardo making this juice and I'm going to make it. All right. Nicole, do the same thing. Wake up the kids, them. And wake up your mommy or everyone in the house. Tell them, say, boy. I saw Chef Ricardo making this juice and I don't care. I'm going to make some nice in this house this morning. All right? <laughs> Just make some nice in the house and make this an amazing drink. Just get yourself some celery, ginger, lemon or lime. Or you can use a little bit of apple. If you don't have apple, it's fine. You know what I mean? You can make it. But I'm going to say to you, make some nice in the house. All right? And make your neighbor come and say, what do you think you're doing? Why is so much nice at 4 o'clock in the morning? All right? Five o'clock in the morning, okay? So, turn on the blender and blend up some juice and drink it. Guys, this is amazing. The only, let me tell you the reason why I'm going to tell you this. Why I, this drink is so good. Because there is no water inside of it. There is no honey inside of it. And I'm going to say, guys, you have to be careful. You know, when you go to the shop and you see all these kind of honey, look how it's running like river. You know what I mean? It's not real honey. You know what I mean? Probably 95% of this is beer sugar. 
and the other five percent is a little bit of honey because you know honey is expensive you know what i mean so you have, that's why i said to you guys try and avoid all of these sweet stuff anytime i'm making my tea or you know what i mean making certain kind of drink or juice i do not use honey inside of it or sugar and all them stuff there it's better for you to um drink it natural like this okay but right now guys this even tastes better and if you put the honey in it it's gonna spoil trust me it, look, look this runny thing right here look at it tell me now is this is honey this look <laughs> this is not honey they uh, i have this in my, right there long i only just use it to show um my audience they say you know what if you guys want to use honey or organic honey organic honey is better but i'm gonna say it to you guys to be honest with you if i put this into this right now it's going to spoil it because this is coming with a different flavor and it's going to kill the juice all right so right now guys i'm gonna say to you sometimes you're there woman you make some juice and certain kind of thing like natural juice and you know what i mean like the green juice and what you see right this right here to be honest with you you don't need to put these things in it because when you put this in it it spoil it you know what i mean because this thing coming with a different flavor from what you're gonna get from drinking this natural juice. Anyway, cheers, guys. This is an amazing drink. Mm -mm. Oh my god. The way the the way the juice tastes. You can't. You, there's no way on the hurt you can go somewhere and get something like this. No way. No matter what happened. Unless you go to a juice shop and you see them blend up the juice and do it like how Chef Ricardo do it. The only way you can get this kind of drink, guys, is you have to make this at home in your, in your, in your kitchen. Trust me, you have to make this kind of juice at home. All right. So I'm gonna tell you something, guys. This right here, there's no way you can go into any supermarket or store in this whole entire world and get something like this. Cause I'm gonna tell you this chemical is in that drink what i'm gonna give you this one all right i didn't use nothing everything i used inside of it was natural celery ginger lime and a little bit of apple that's natural trust me you can't go no supermarket the most expensive supermarket in the world you can't go and get something like this right here which i have right here all right it's only you gonna take that five minutes out of 24 hours for the day and make this drink and drink it and that's something natural where you're gonna say you know what i invest my time into and this is it guys i'm drinking this right here celery ginger and lime and a little bit of apple and i'm telling you this the way the drink tastes oh my god you only, i'm telling you the way this tastes guys trust me Trust me, guys. I, I, I don't even know how to explain it to you. And now, as I said before, if I put this into it, it's going to spoil it. Because this is coming with a different flavor. So I can't put this in. It. You know what I mean? It's just nice to just drink it natural. Natural juice, natural tea, natural stuff works, guys. A lot of people might have said, Chef Ricardo, why are you, why are you not cooking all about chicken and this and that and blah, blah. I love my little natural juice and my little salad and healthy recipe. You know what I mean? Because I know there's a lot of people will take the encouragement, you know what I mean? Yeah, sometimes I eat my little bit of snack and sometimes I squeeze in a little one this and a little one that now and then. But, you know what I mean? I, I do like my natural stuff like these guys. 100%. Wow. So, guys, this one oh, is amazing. Mm -mm. Wow. I don't know why man is so sad because I don't have any more celery now. I run out of celery because I would have make some more. It is so beautiful, guys, and so delicious. The flavor and the texture of it is just an amazing, fantastic. And I would encourage you guys, if you have a little bit of time today, trust me, if you have a little bit of time today, just go to the supermarket. You know, if you buy a whole heap and put it on your fridge, sit down and look by you. Just buy a little, one little pack of celery and lemon and a piece of ginger and come home and make this you know what i mean trust me it works all right it works um other sandra thank you so much healthy body <laughs> well 
I'll tell you something is not um I wanna say I'll just try my best to, you know what I mean, like go a little bit natural stuff, you know what I mean? Because none of us is perfect. We don't like our meat and chicken and you know what I mean, we wanna eat our cookie sometime and you know what I mean, our little bits of this and little bit of that. You know what I mean? You have sometimes you have to do it, you know what I mean? They like our fried chips sometime. But at the same time, you know, you still have to drink and eat healthy at the same time. You know what I mean? You just don't wanna just chop down everything and not looking after yourself, alright? Yeah, but this is nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, beautiful one, guys. One hundred percent. You know, um, Nicole, I want you to make my drink green apple and ginger and lime. Yeah, today do not use any red apple. That's red flag. All right, red flag that one. Mitchy, big up yourself all the way in Australia. You know what I mean? Shout out to Michi because we're doing a collaboration at the moment. Um, yeah. So big up uh, Michi from all the way in Australia supporting Chef Ricardo. I really appreciate it. Big up my Instagram audience. You know what I mean? Who support Chef Ricardo. I'm not neglecting you guys, but you know, I'm concentrating on my YouTube channel. But you know what I mean? I just share the video over to my Instagram. That's you guys can do. See what I'm making. You know what I mean? That's if you guys want to try something different at home. Because sometimes we have a little bit of time at home. And we can do stuff. Alright? So yeah. That's where I am at the moment. Mm -hmm. Ah. That is amazing. Yeah. This is just so lovely. Beautiful one. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, now, this is what I'm going right now. Because this morning is a morning of a beautiful morning, all right? Um, all right, now, I'm just going to give you the last recipe. And I think I'm going to be that for the rest of the, for the day. All right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Now, as you can see, all right, so we're gonna do one more video, one more recipe, guys, and I hit that for the, the rest of the day, all right? This one's gonna be an amazing one. All right, yeah, this one's gonna be one of those ones you have to try at home, all right? It's gonna be beautiful, lovely, and nice, all right? The ginger is so strong, man, I can taste that ginger. It is amazing. Now, we're going to do one more video. This is the last video I'm going to be doing right now. So basically, get yourself one large cucumber. All right. I got a piece more up left. All right. And then um, I'm going to see if I got some more ginger. Yeah, I got, I got, I got ginger. Get yourself some ginger. Uh, as I said, guys, you do not have to make the amount of drink I'm making, right? I'm just giving you ideas where you can make at home. Okay. It's just ideas that I'm giving you guys, okay? So you do not have to make all of these drinks you see I'm making. You can choose one, which one you like to make, and make it at home, all right? Yeah. So basically this one, I've got ginger, yeah. And then we're going to get the same, it's the same process, guys. It's not different. It's just some tips and ideas I'm sharing with you at the moment, okay? That's it, guys. Can do at home. You do not have to make the amount of drink I'm making, okay? Lime again or lemon. It's up to you guys, whatever you want to use, okay? Yeah, beautiful one. This one's going to be an amazing one also. I'm gonna cut up my cucumber and my rest ingredients right now, alright? So what you wanna do, alright, we got a large cucumber right here. This is very good for you too guys, cucumber. A lot of people try to neglect cucumber, but then doesn't know that cucumber have a lot of health benefit, alright? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put in some cucumber into the blender. Just like this, 
all right so this one guys you can also try this one at home all right beautiful one this one so you just get yourself a medium sized cucumber into the blender just like this Look at that. That's the cucumber right there. Okay. Now, apple. All right. We're going to put half an apple inside of it. We got some ginger. That is lovely. One lemon or lime. Remove the skin. That is lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. All right. And then what we're going to do, we're going to blend this. And it's the same process. 95% of the cucumber is water. All right, the other 5% is fiber. Ginger and lemon is the same process, guys. All right, all of these ingredients is amazing. Cucumber, ginger, and lemon. You don't need to add any water to it. I'm trying to make you guys avoid adding water to your stuff and having um, this running like a river. Look at this. <laughs> guys, if you go to the shop and you see this, I'm telling you this, this is not good. All right, this is red flag. All right, you know what I mean? Look at that. Running 95, 99.9%. .9%, this is the sugar. And the rest is just like a little tiny bit of honey. All right, let's make some noise in the kitchen. All right, big up my audience right now who watch it. good to make a little noise in the kitchen you know what I mean yeah some people don't like the noise enough now what we're gonna do is strain it it's the same process guys same process we're gonna strain it run it through our strainer all right now this drink is to tell you all right when you're at home do not Put sh uh, don't get me wrong, I used to make my video them back in the days, adding honey and sugar and all them things. But the more you do your research, is the better for you. That's why I say, guys, sometimes it's very good for you to take some time and do some research. All right, trust me, is research is very, very important for us. All right, a lot of people does not know that if you take it, you know, what I mean, a lot of people, all right, this is what I don't understand why you will go and you will spend. 1,200 pound and buy a very nice phone like an iPhone. You know, a lot of people buy iPhone 13 and iPhone 14. You know what I mean? They will left the iPhone 11 Pro or 12 Pro and they will go and they buy 13 Pro or 14 Pro an iPhone. Okay. When you buy an iPhone or a Samsung phone, whatever kind of phone or very something, it's not something you buy to put down, you know. You buy to use it. So if you buy a good phone, you know what I mean? You use it. You use it to do stuff, okay, at home, all right? There's a little thing on it said Google. You can go to Google. If you don't even want to type, you can say, Google, what's the benefit of cucumber juice? And it may come up and say, Chef Record, make this one is a healthy one. It may come up and say, Mitchick. It may come up, it may say, Nicole. It may come up and say, someone, all right? So I don't want, I do not want you guys to just buy an expensive phone and not using it. To me, it's a waste of money. You buy something to use it, okay? So if you buy the phone, use the phone, all right? 
Now, if you go to Google right now and you type in, what's the benefit of cucumber? I'm telling you. All right. I've got one more secret recipe I'm going to share with you guys, where a lot of people doesn't know. It's a cucumber. But it's better for you to get the organic cucumber. All right. Um, cucumber, guys, I'm going to tell you something where a lot of people doesn't know. And I'm going to tell you this. That's, that's why I said to you, it's very important for you guys to do research. Um, not, not, not for these things where we're not doing we should be doing it. You know what I mean? I up even myself too. I should be doing a lot more with healthy stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. To be honest. None of us is perfect. You know what I mean? I want to get in, get into the healthy um, side over the last probably one and a half year now. You know what I mean? Or two year. Trying to be healthy and eating a lot of more healthy stuff. Drinking a lot of juice. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong, you can have a, a, a glass of red wine or your white wine or your energy sometime, but you don't want to be drinking and, you know what I mean, drinking too much alcohol and all that stuff there. It doesn't good, you know what I mean? But you can treat yourself sometime, okay? Don't get me wrong. All right? But um, I'm going to give you guys a secret where a lot of people does not know. But I'm telling you, research is very important. Trust me. If you're doing YouTube, I would encourage you guys to do research. Anyone who is on YouTube, just don't just making video. I put it up to YouTube. It's very important to have your backup with you. Okay? Your backup is when you do your research. Okay? With me, I'll tell you something. I I do so much research, guys. Hours span of hours. I sit down on my computer, going through certain things online, reading what this is good for. Um, you know what I mean? Sometimes I can't even pronounce the word them. But I tell you something, I still do my research. You know what I mean? But I'm telling you guys, if you're doing certain kind of stuff, it's very good for you to do your research and see what is good for. You know what I mean? That's a new way you're telling your audience. You know what I mean? I don't say making video and put on YouTube is not hard. You have to do your back top. You know what I mean? Right now you may see I'm making a cucumber juice and I'm making all these kind of upper juice and thing. I do a lot of research. <laughs> Trust me. Whole heap of research. You know what I mean? To see what is this good for. I sit down and I watch thousands of videos on YouTube. And then I go to Google and then I do the research and then look what this is good for. See what it is good for. And you know what I mean? Listen, you know what I mean? And yeah. And if you have a smartphone, trust me. It's even better. Alright, now I got here it is guys, you see. Look at look at this guys. Alright. Look at that. Guys, I want you to take a good look. Cause someone must watching this video which I'm doing right now. I don't know who the person watching. If you're watching the video, let me know. Alright? Look at this guys. This this is just cucumber, ginger. Lemon, and I just put a little piece of an apple in it. All right, you know, very healthy. Drink this right here, very, very healthy. And look at it, it don't even split or nothing. All right, and I didn't put any sugar or any honey. And remember, do not put any rice in this, okay? Do not put any rice in it. Please do not do that one, guys. I'm telling you, do not put any rice in it, okay. If I go and I didn't add some of this in it, what would happen? It would spoil. Look at this thing. You know what I mean? Right now, the, the time is so cold. And look at it. It's still, still running, guys. It is freezing at the moment. It's like, if I'm talking about very, very freezing. I'm joking. It's hot, but you know what I mean? It's they're supposed to be running like this, though, anyway. But what would I say to you guys? Take a good look at this drink right here. Okay? This drink... Didn't have any water, didn't have anything inside of it except the ingredients. And that's why I said to you, 95% of all of the ingredients is liquid. All right? Just imagine you wake up early in the morning and you drink. So you're, in the meantime, you're drinking a hot cup of lemon tea or ginger tea. And then you just said to your husband or your wife, can you make me a, a, a cup of... Uh, uh, um, 
can you meet me? Um, a cucumber juice. I saw that video on Chef Ricardo YouTube channel. Can you make me that, please? And he make you this. And you drink off. You, it's better for you to drink a hot cup of lemon tea in the morning, though, guys. Trust me. And then you drink something like this. But I'm telling you this. If you make yourself a hot cup of lemon tea or ginger tea, whatever kind of tea, and then you go and you say to your missus or your wife, your girlfriend or whatever, can you make me a cup of a, a nice, lovely cup of lemon? Blend me up that for me, please, or whatever. And you, and you drink this. You will see the difference. You will feel the difference in your body. All right? Trust me, guys. All right. The secret behind cucumber, a lot of people doesn't know that if you do this every day, this one, guys, I'm going to give you this one. Get yourself, if you do this every, every day for five days, I'm talking about Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Do this for five days. Instagram. If you're watching right now over there, YouTube, if you're watching right over there right now, I'm an audience on YouTube right now. If you do this for five, five, five days, look at this, guys. When you wake up in the morning, what I want you to do, all right? I want you to do this one. Trust me. Trust me. And if we're not finished the live, even right now, if you turn on your TV or you turn on your laptop, and when you go to your laptop, type in on Google right now. No, no, no. If you even want to stop, stop watch the video and type in it on your phone. What's the benefit of cucumber water? Guys, I'm going to tell you this. Cucumber water. <coughs> I don't even want to go into it, man. All right. I'm going to tell you what, exactly what you need to do. All right. Now, one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight. All right? All right. Here it is. Get yourself a glass. Listen, guys. If you're watching this video, do this to, Do this right, right, right now. Most of you guys have cucumber in our fridge. You can't tell me nothing. Mitri, look in your fridge. I think you bought cucumber yesterday. Nicole, you must have cucumber in your fridge. All right? I want you to... <laughs> Juliet. I can't... Juliet, I'm on my life, man. <laughs> is calling it all my life all right sorry about that guys all right now if you are watching this video right now i want you to do this okay one two three four five six seven eight eight pieces a slice of cucumber all right if you can do this right now, all right? What I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm gonna just pour some water into it. All right, you see that guys? Right there, look how it flow to the top. All right. Now, if you can do this, we're gonna cover it. If you, can do this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. All right. I'm gonna tell you something. Look at this, guys. Do you see what's happening right there? It is infusing. All right. And look, look, look at the bubbling at the top of this um the glass. When I when I put in the water, there was any any bubbling. But as you can see, uh, and and the longer you leave it, is the bubbling is bubbling up. All right. Now, what I want to say to you, I want you to do this today and drink this for five days. And I'm not going to tell no one the benefit for this because I want you to do your own research. All right. I want you to take your smartphone or your laptop or whatever you have or you're at work and type in on Google, what's the benefit of water with cucumber? All right. What's the benefit of cucumber water? Guys, I'm telling you this. This is a magic right here for our body. All right? And I will encourage everyone who watching right now, take a little bit of time and just do this video. What you want to do, you want to leave it like for roughly about, say, 10 minutes. Make it dissolve. Make the cucumber dissolve into the water. 
Or you can make it and bring it to work. But do not make it and put it into your fridge because the cucumber is going to go too saggy. You do not want to do that. All right? What you want to do, you want to make it and leave it on the, in a warm surface like this. Like this, and then you drink it. Guys, this thing right here have a lot of health benefit. Stop watching my video. Go right now and, and make this. All right? Trust me. Cucumber water. Two ingredients, guys. I'm telling you this. Trust me. Um, the two... I don't even know how to explain it. But I'm not going to explain it until you watch the benefit of this cucumber water. I want you to take your time. Go on your smartphone or your laptop or whatever you have at home. And type in what's the benefit of cucumber water. Do it now. Emergency. I'm telling you guys. This thing, I was doing a research and I didn't know. But I'm going to say to you, it is better for you to have organic cucumber. Organic cucumber is better. But if you don't have organic cucumber, you can use this one, guys, because you don't have any choice. You know what I mean? But the organic one is a little bit much better. But I'm going to say to you, if you ever, ever, ever try this one at home, it is amazing. It is fantastic. It cleans out your immune system. It, it, Oh my God in heaven, man. You're not even, I don't want to be, it's like I'm preaching, <laughs> but I'm not preaching. I'm telling you guys, because the experience, when I was reading and I was looking at this, I didn't even know that it have so much benefit, man. And you know what I mean? I, 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 I trust me guys, but, and I look at this one. If you notice, you see it, it didn't even split or nothing. You see it? It didn't split. All right. To show you that if you did add water to this, what will be happening? It will be split. But there's no split. So this is very good. All right? So, I'm telling you guys, if you ever drink... But when you're going to drink this, if you wake up in the morning, all right? What you want to do, you want to make yourself a cup of lemon tea or ginger tea or some herb tea, where you, some natural herb tea where you like to make in the morning. Drink something warm on your stomach first and then you drink this after. Oh my, and I'm telling you 100%, not even 10% or 50%, 100%, you will see the difference in your life with this drink right here. You're going to come back to my YouTube channel, you're going to say, Chef Ricardo, thank you so much for this recipe. Two ingredients, natural water, you need, you need to get yourself some natural organic water, all right? Do not use those kind of water um, and use proper filter water. And do this one, okay? Um, you can get bottled water, they're very good one. Them don't go and just buy in any water. Two ingredients right here, guys. And I'm gonna tell you this: if you ever, ever, ever try this recipe, I'm telling you, you will come back on my YouTube channel. I only to gonna say thank you so much. But I want you to do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, just for five morning after you make. You, and I went to, once you make a break, once you make a tea and you drink this, you're going to see the difference. You will see the difference. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching Chef Ricardo Show this morning. Really appreciate it. It was a collaboration between me and Michi all the way in Australia. Big up Michi in Australia. I really appreciate it. And trust me. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. It's just one of those one, guys. I'm, I have to just explain because I do a lot of research. Sometimes I go to my bed like five o'clock in the morning doing research on good healthy stuff which is very good for you and you know what i mean i'm always trying to share the best tips and ideas for my audience that's you guys can make things at home we're not gonna be saying we're perfect do not come and talking about chef ricardo too perfect i'm not perfect because sometimes i eat my little chocolate sweetie and you know what i mean sometimes i eat my fried dumpling you know what i mean but i'm gonna tell you something i do a lot of detoxing trust me because just like a sink you know what i mean if you keep chucking things down in your sink your sink will be black, so you have to get the drain cleaner to drain it out. It's the same thing with your body. If you keep putting too much garbage down in yourself, in your immune system, then you need something to flush it out. So basically, what you're going to have to do is do a lot of detoxing, you know what I mean, to fight against certain things from build up in your immune system. It's the same thing with your sink. If your sink is building up a lot of stuff, you're going to have to throw some bleach and some drain cleaner to clear out the sink. It's the same thing with your body. When you're drinking and eating certain kind of food, you know what I mean? Then you do a detoxing, all right? 
Guys, this one was an amazing one this morning from Chef Ricardo. We are live for a very long time now. Thank you so much. And please join my YouTube channel membership. Please go over to my IG, Chef Ricardo Cooking, and share some gratitude, all right? Go over to my YouTube channel right now and share some gratitude. That's all I'm being saying. Uh, oh, that Trisha or something. I say someone just come up a while ago. Good morning. Thank you so much for coming in. Really appreciate it, all right? But as I said, guys, it was a very long one this morning, all right? But I want you guys to try the cucumber water, all right? Just type in, guys, all right? Just type in on, on Google what's the benefit of cucumber water. 100%, guys, you will see. As soon as they come off the live, do that, guys. I'm telling you, we are here to help one another. And when you know something, you share it with one another, Okay. And that's where Chef Ricardo is at the moment. Yeah, I love my Jamaican rice and peas and curry. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this morning. And I really appreciate it. And I will see you next time in the kitchen with more recipe. All right? Because I need to go now. Bye-bye. Yeah, I think he's going to go now.